What's up, fellow reefers? I just wanted to show you my automatic water change setup. So the heart of the setup here is this Hyger auto dosing pump, which I believe I got off of on eBay for $72 shipped. Um, so far, so good. I have it hooked up back here, which is pumping the water out on the first line, which would be to your guys' right. And I uh, have it set up to take a gallon of water out. And that takes about an hour, a little bit over an hour. And, uh, I have it actually set up here. I had to actually fix this door, <clears throat> but uh, that's the bucket where it's just going in. That's actually my um, makeup water, which is with cockwasser and a little bit of magnesium. And then once once the pumps pushing the gallon out what happens is I have a five gallon ATO here of salt water which is a tropic marine and the five gallon and basically I dose a gallon of fresh water fresh salt water into the tank which is the last dosing line there and it's basically helping me reduce my nutrients and uh, it's pretty nice way to go if you guys want to do auto water changes uh, right now I have it actually set up for for me to be gone for two days, which is a weekend. Um, but I could set it up to where I could have it set up for a five days. Um, one of the things that I would tell you guys is you're going to want to follow the instructions on this and how to set up the, the dosing setup. So what I would advise you guys is when you guys set it up is just set up the lines how you guys are gonna where you guys are gonna want to dose it and then and then you're gonna calibrate the the dosing machine from there so I guess what I'm saying is don't calibrate it with the cup right beside the lines because it's gonna be a different uh, rate when you're when you're um, actually hooking up the lines so you're gonna want to hook up all the lines and then calibrate it from there. Otherwise, you're, it's gonna be off. And then the other thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna probably gonna wanna monitor it for at least two to three days to make sure everything's working right. So for example, um, the second time it went through its routine, I noticed that I only dosed it, dosed, uh, took less than a gallon of the water out. So basically I had to recalibrate it because I didn't calibrate it correctly and then had to retry it. So that's really the only thing you have to do, but it's pretty simple to do it. Um, other than that, um, it's a great way to do your water changes if, on any tank, I, I, I guess, even from nano to even a, a larger tank. And uh, it's definitely helps with the corals not disliking your water chains because a lot of times when you do water chains, your corals don't like it. And this is basically a, just a, a, a slow way for your corals to just basically just stay um, 
fully extended during the day or during the water change too. And then you're also not kicking up dust everywhere in the tank. Um, so it's definitely something you guys might want to look into. Well, thanks for checking out the video and I hope uh, you guys have a great day at your reefing endeavors. Thanks.